Can you can you talk a little bit about sorry about why you felt it necessary to document this? Well, this is the beautiful thing about music is that is it just it, it just goes away. Yeah. But it goes into people's body mm -hmm. and they carry it. Yeah. So they own it, you know, after you play it. Yeah. And I could listen to a recording. Yeah. But I think this one was so much more about 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 seeing uh, seeing the people and feeling the process and it was kind of a new place for me to try to document from. I mean, for the past four years, this crew of people that have documented this have been following me around mm -hmm. on a very long five-year journey right. we've been on. Um, and through this process, uh, I just noticed as a, as, a, you know, as a very light jazz researcher that there's not much part of our process documented. Right. You know, Duke Ellington writing that essay is pretty rare. You know, yeah. there's a book that he wrote too, but it's pretty rare to kind of see some of this actualized or hear it. Right. There's a tape that I have of Thelonious Monk talking about creating his music. Mm -hmm. It's, I mean, actually we're gonna perform that in two weeks here at the Kennedy Center. Mm -hmm. Um, and that tape is used in our performance because it's one of the rare times you hear a master talk about the craft. Right. Not like in an interview, but like, no, nah, I'm just actually working on it and we're talking about it right yeah. now. And, uh, and it's that kind of thing that I, I think maybe is, a, maybe is a disease of right now, which is like this documentation of everything, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> but I, am, I have it in my bones. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>